Hey everyone, what about here and welcome to Captain of Industry. Uh, I'd say courtesy kind of of a vac who was uh, very much a proponent of this game a while back and more or less said like, hey, Wander, you should play this. You would love it. And I'm like, yeah, I probably should. And a resource size, big. Now we're just waiting for the load screen to go. I'm going to save my voice for a bit. I am croaking a bit. Oh. Captain, we have just docked. Our ship and local shipyard will both need repairs. The abandoned communication station near the dock could be deconstructed and used to smelt iron in a blast furnace so we can build more vehicles and construction parts. It's essential, essential to build a research lab as soon as possible. We can figure out more blueprints for, each, uh, for important things such as farms or a beacon. You can build multiple labs to speed up research. A friendly village you can trade with is nearby. Check the world map. Trading can be a lifesaver if you run into a shortage of critical products. Oh no. Well, you know what? If I want to potentially mess around with some of these, where the hell is the village? Is this is this a village? That's a settlement. What? These poor people. Oh gosh, it's like Ready Player One, but worse. Alright, so how the heck are we going to do this? We want to start recycling. Now am I... Dude's just going to start doing it? Or... Uh, no. Okay, so you can pause, but I might need to figure out how to get transports, pipes, food market, uh, dumping designation. Oh, baby, this is going to be a little confusing. Tutorial waste and dumping. Okay, you got to fix it. Oh, this. Shipyard repair. Need to reach research technology. Okay, so that means we need message No, that's the message center. Buildings, research lab. So I just slap this down wherever. Oh, never mind. I'm not entirely sure. I see a pipe thing, so I might have to worry about this. But yeah, Transport Tycoon Deluxe crossed with Factorio. Yeah, the moment somebody described this game as that to me, I'm like, oh, this is one of those. That's way better. Okay, start new research. We want to do basic farming, construction probably, because this gets us recycling, I'm thinking. Blast furnace or this. Settle settlement waste? Waste collection. Uh, farming. Yeah, let's start with construction. Okay, do you need research materials or are you just going? Monthly units consumed. Okay, well, I don't know. Uh, can I see where the research progress is? Oh, there it is. On construction. So I... Oh, okay, so we can actually do some things here. Food market, more housing, waste collection. Huh. So I'm actually going to have to work with these people. Oh, let's see. Smokestack. Release of gases into the atmosphere. Some gases such as exhaust cause pollution. I feel like this is going to be bad. Okay, uh, hold up. So this is some resources coming out of it. It's got raw metal into other things. What is this? What is th what is this little doo doo hood? Oh, it's for diesel and fuel and whatnot. Also, wow, some of the some of these crates got really messed up. Who's chucking these around? What fool did this? All right, whatever. All right, so we've got a coal maker, a metal caster. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. So this takes wood and turns it into coal and exhaust. This takes trash plus coal to make metal and more exhaust. Okay, so I guess in that case, I'm just going to build this stuff out here and we'll just see what I can do. Now, can I just hook this together? I can. But maybe I don't want to yet. We'll probably just slap some pipes down just because. Uh, 
Okay. So I... How do, what am I... What are these buttons even doing? Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, that's fun. I'm just going to try doing that and hopefully it'll work. Huh. It didn't like it. Let's cancel that pipe. So maybe I only need one pipe here. And that's that. Unless it's... Oh. What is going on? Not connected. Quick deliver. Okay. We're waiting for this to get over. Is this properly connected? Not connected. Maybe I... Maybe pipe is no good. How do I destroy? Uh, bulldoze. Okay, so let's get rid of those. I'll have to figure it out. Uh, let's see. Iron smelting. What about just logistics? Okay. So it looks like... Ah, this is what I need. So pipe does not transfer these things. I should probably read more of this. Uh, but this game should... I mean, it looks like it's generally intuitive, intuitive enough that I'll figure it out. I just got to actually get the parts. It's odd to start with molten channels and pipes and a bunch of other things. Let's see. It does look like it should use a pipe, though. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This one uses a pipe. The others do not. Yeah, you can kind of see the input output. It makes sense. Okay. If I do, I see. So you can see the steam stacks. So in that case, we want to go to uh, waste management smoke stack. I'm just going to put it over here. Logistics pipe. Uh, let's see. Here's a question. I have it go here, and then we bring it back down. I'm so glad that there's elevation. All right, and connect. So this way, we should have this. Hopefully, we can move whatever the uh, scaffolding holding it up. So this makes. This makes plenty of sense at, at the moment. We just got to get access to construction and maybe I can do some more. Yeah, so if you pick something like a belt or a pipe, it'll show you what it can connect to. So here's the question. Can I just have that go through? Looks like it. All right, so in that case, we did buildings, housing and services. We can't do that yet. Metallurgy. Metal casing. Uh, let's see. I don't actually know how much metal casing I'm going to be doing out of one plant. Wait, can I check the output? So, 8 over the course of 40 seconds. This produces 8 and 20, so we actually do need 2. Okay. Let's just... Uh... Do we do them in sequence, though? Or do we just put them next to each other? I'll just put them next to each other for the time being. Okay. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. So now all we need is the conveyor belts. Let's see, start new research. So we got construction, we got iron smelting, vehicles mining, power and maintenance. What about basic farming? Farms and potatoes, maybe. Small excavator, pick up tree harvester. We're going to need those. So maybe I do this. We still haven't found conveyor belts, though. Oh, you can even boost it. Hmm. What's assembly do? So that 
Okay, that makes that stuff. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. Because I... I don't feel like I can actually do anything with this yet until we find the... Conveyor belts. Trading dock. Okay, your trucks are actually your conveyors for a long time. Ah, okay, got it. I guess let's do power and maintenance for the time being. Hopefully we'll have enough resources for at least a little bit. Oh, we might have actually wanted to do farming. Maybe. I don't know how much of this I'm using. Okay, so what's up? Missing input. Oh. Oh, because I have no... <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't change that. Wait, can I build a... There's no way I can build a second research thing and have it work on its own products, can I? I have no idea. Here, I'm going to go into the settings. I'm going to turn the music off. Unless I can change the frequency, maybe. I mean, it's there. I guess I'll just turn it up. Because yeah, it was a little, a little quiet. Okay, waste and dumping, some other things. Okay, so yeah, I think we're gonna have to start doing some tree farming. Got four people, monthly unity consumed. Oh, okay. Oh, I do have a tree harvester. You're right. Okay. Or orders. Scrap. Recover. World map. Tree harvesting designation. Perfect. Alright. There we go. Oh, and we are actually consuming our, our potatoes. I'm just going to close those. I'll figure it out. I'd say I figured out Factorio fine, but I didn't actually. I learned that slightly with the help of some friends back in the day. I think I'd be fine if I had jumped into it on my own, but still. Oh, does it actually just... Huh. Huh. Do tree, tree harvesters, like, currently have that kind of thing? Oh, has no truck assigned. We'll give it, like, three. Do I have enough trucks? I will admit, the one downside of this kind of game is I don't like the setting as much. You know... <laughs> oh, and it just becomes a crate. Rad. Uh, I'm a big fan of sci-fi, cyberpunk, and fantasy. Modern stuff, maybe not so much so. All right, there we go. Now we got some coal. Now we're cooking. Let's see, can I speed the game up? Oh, I can. Oh, and we can see our research progress up here. Rad. Okay. So what are we gonna do next? Because we got the metal casing, but I don't know what I'm doing with that. We can also do manual assembly, which will let me potentially make uh, parts of some variety. Basic products. I guess the easy thing to do would actually be to take a look at the food market. So, there's that. Food market waste collection. That seems like something I should probably do. Dumping designation. Yeah. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Yeah, who doesn't love some good Magitech? I know, right? Like, how rad would it be if, uh, if we was, if we were playing something like this, but it was straight up like we were Shinra from Final Fantasy. I realize, like, you know, that would be legal hell, but it would be kind of cool. You know, let me make a ridiculous, um, okay, let's do basic farming. Because I guess we're going to need that. Uh, I don't know. Just making ridiculous like disc cities in the sky. And all sorts of crazy junk like that. It'd be fun. 
I think this is this sort of thing is fine. It's just one of those where I don't know. I like imagining cool cool stuff happening. So does this act as storage for the time being? Maybe. Looks like it. Been an anti green company. Oh, absolutely. Like these games are not exactly meant to be. Uh, well, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe Captain of Industry is actually going to have a little bit more of a green slant than I think. But I, I am actively ripping out a lot of, a uh, lot of trees, and everybody lives in a shanty town. I do like their little like decks up top. I think that actually looks really cool. It would be awesome if it went modern and then super sci-fi as you went along. True. Okay, so food production farm. Growing of various crops can be used for production. Farm depends on rain only. Surpri su uh, to supply water from external source, it needs to be upgraded. Oh boy, howdy. Boy, hootie, that's a, that's a big farm. Well, all things considered, uh, let's rotate it. And then try and kind of jam it in here in an organized fashion. I'm going to get two of those down. What you need is a game that starts completely normal, no hint of magic, then you slowly tech up to build on uh, TSAB Magitech. What is TSAB? Multi-world colonization. I agree with you, though. Uh, I used to play Master of Orion 2 when I was younger, and I really, really liked starting pre-warp. Uh, I always thought that was, like, the coolest... Um, coolest way of playing and I always played with like the heavy science people and so I'd be hitting um oh we still have no research uh I'd be hitting you know space travel well before anybody else and that was really neat and for vehicles construction conveyor belts okay so I'm gonna need to go down a lot of this I wish you could actually queue up multiple bits of research. Vehicle depot. Building vehicles, trucks, excavators, tree harvesters. Mine control tower. Trading dock. Okay. Time Space Administration Bureau. From Magical Girl, Lyrical Nanaha is Gundam anime disguises magical girls. Okay, that actually sounds kind of interesting. Beacon. Ah, more workers and some, some extra starting loot. And diesel, if I want to go that direction. Well, let's start with the trading dock. Oh yeah, add to queue. You're correct. Alright. Let's just kind of work on these. Also, I'm very glad I didn't turn the music off. I don't know if these are the correct things, but I really want to get conveyor belts at some point. What does this mean? Tier level, maybe? Okay. Oh, and we are actually researching much faster with two of these. So the one downside is... Okay. Probably grab these. 52 in 2.8 months. So it is growing. We're just going to need more. Well, do we get another? Because I'm not... I'm not strictly against just going hard farm for a while. Until we need to tear it up. Let's do one more. Okay, so we need a trading dock. Boop. Okay, some parts need to be in the ocean. And it looks like it can't bonk with this other dock. So we've got to be out here. A yeah, collision with shipyard damaged. Okay, so I'll have to put it here. That's fine. Looks like banished but modern. It's got the visual style of banished, but it's more Factorio than anything. Factorio with some TTD, but it still feels mostly... Uh, uh, bah, 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 bah. It still feels mostly like Factorio. You just 
have some automated... I guess, oddly enough, you actually, um... Oh, what was I going to say? Now, oddly enough, you start with the drones, but they're less efficient because you only have so many of them. So, am I liking this so far? I mean, yeah. I, I'm i a huge fan of automation games. Just without question. Let me build a massive factory and I will have a blast with it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, we just need a lot of research. Well, here's the question. Okay, mate, oh, maintenance depot. How many workers? 24 workers available. So yeah, let's get a maintenance depot. Maybe slap it over here. It does look like I might have to move some things over. But yeah, let's let's get more research labs. Because I know we have Unity, which gets spent on this kind of thing. Still seems like it's worth it. Okay, diesel generator. Burns diesel to create electricity. Does also create some stuff. But I think I think I can I can't actually do anything with. Ah, uh, no, no, no. It does look like I can do stuff with it. Okay. I guess we'll just slap this next door. Or maybe like right off the back and we'll just see what happens. Yeah, I think I'm going to try it out. Seems pretty good. Oh, I have paused the game. I should not have the game paused. I guess I do, I do have some diesel sitting around. So hopefully these guys will just deliver it for me. Eventually we'll move things. There we go. Now the maintenance bay is powered. I don't know how these are going without power, but I'm not going to question it either. Okay. Well, we are certainly blitzing the sciences. Is this actually going faster? I think it is. I guess we'll see when we go back down to basic diesel and figure it out. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Trade with a village. Uh, let's see. So we have this one. So I can adopt 10 populations for X amount of unity. I can donate to increase our, our reputation. We can get more iron scrap. We can get this. I was really hoping they would buy my food. But yeah, we can sell... Um, we can trade diesel for coal... Construction parts for rubber. So things that I might not have. Main thing would be populations, but even then, I don't know. I wonder, wonder what determines how many workers I get. And I could throw some, some construction parts at that, but we'll do it later. My ship is too damaged to currently explore. So each one produces 3.2 tech per minute. Got it. Oh, and power global, so you don't need to micromanage power lines. That is actually pretty nice. Oh, huh, this music is really good. I'm a little concerned that it might be copyrighted, but you know what? If it is, it is. Okay, so let's take a look. Are we selling potatoes? Looks like we are. We can actually see our graphs, but yeah. Looks like we are now in a good spot for potatoes. Okay, so let's take a look. Concrete mixer, assembly manual. I should probably work on these. Oh, rainwater harvester. Interesting. Water. Average need. So how do we get water piped into these? Unless... Pipe? No. Because it looks like it has a potato output and then a question mark output. Yeah, okay, so we need a, a different field tech for the time being. Okay, we are unlocking a lot of tech right now, and I'm not quite sure what to do with half of it. 
Uh, Because, yeah, we have concrete production. Crushes ore into fine grain materials can be used for advanced processing. Copper, copper electrolysis. It, to some degree, I almost kind of want to just wait until I have a number of these before I even start messing with it. So vehicle depot. Building vehicles such as trucks and excavators and mine. But I don't think it can do any mining yet. Unit storage. 180 of a, of a product. It seems kind of worth it. Rotary kiln. Oh boy. But yeah, I don't even know how to get some of these. I guess let's start with a vehicle depot. And just slap it over here. Yeah, so I've got to upgrade my farm. But... Oh, could not store all potato after harvest. Okay. Storage. Unit storage. Fluid storage. But we don't have that. Let's see. I'm just going to do that for a bit. Uh, let's see. Stored product. Oh, interesting. I can't store potato. Oh, that's unfortunate. However, I might have actually needed some of that. Because how can I see how many parts I have? I actually do not know. Oh, it's here. Okay, so it's not so bad. We'll run out at, a, at some point, but later. Okay, so I just need an excavator. Small excavator. I'm not quite used to using vehicles. So does this look full of copper? I think it is. Dumping designation, mining designation. Yeah, this looks pretty mine worthy. Okay, and then we need the mine tower. Mine control tower. There we go. Right click that menu to see all of your things. Wait, this one? Or this one? Nope. Definitely not that one. I don't know. It's maybe fine. Uh, let's see. What can we trade? Because what I really want to do is trade potatoes. Oh, this thing. I see. There it is. Not right click, mostly just left click. It's just familiar enough that I mostly know what I'm doing, but just unusual enough that I'm a little lost. It's fine. Wait, here's a question. What if I had more food depot? What if I just made another one? Okay. Well, I mean, the real answer is we're just we're just mostly waiting for research to finish before I start diving in because I need a I need a goal and I currently don't exactly have one. The irrigated farms groundwater fueling station. Tired of excavators going back and forth to refuel, build it, sign and assign it some trucks. Oh, interesting. Crop rotation so we can get even further. How far does this go? Fruit, power generation, arc furnaces, consumer electronics. Okay, wait, ship weapons? We have to worry about that? Alright. I... Sounds interesting at the very least. Okay, so will this store... Ah, inputs, potato. Yeah, so there we go. That'll give me a little bit more. Okay. So did we actually get that excavator going? No, we did not. 
why not? Orders, scrap, recover. No job idle stopped. Oh, edit area. There we go. That's how that works. It's super interesting. I'm definitely... Oh wait, no, it's still not going. No vehicles ex assigned. Oh, I see. I should probably build some more trucks now that I'm thinking about it. Thing is, I probably have the resources. Uh, yeah, we'll run out at some point. But still, so I gotta figure out how to actually start producing these things. I don't think we figured out how to make vehicle parts yet, have we? No, because we can make... Or no, that's just maintenance. I'm going to have to trade for vehicle parts, or maybe I can make it. Okay, so we need the assembly building. Oh yeah, there it is. Alright, so I guess there's kind of our goal here, is figuring out how to start buffing some of these up so we can get some more. Uh, yeah, ish. Oh, did we... We have conveyor belts, yes. Alright, let's figure that out before I do anything else. Trans... Or not. I also need a worker. Okay. Oh, no, it's still in the queue. It's just after these. Got it. Okay, warning, no workers. No free workers on your island. Everybody's busy. In order to get more people researching and building a beacon, so that'll give me some more. Alright, cool. Well, we should be fine. What is this? Population overview. Growth, health, base, food, plenty. No active disease, nothing else. Fair enough. No available place to dump products. That's fair. Storage, unit storage. Uh, let's see. Product, you're just going to be... Copper, I'm assuming. Oh no, this has dirt. Oh. Okay. Does this store dirt? It does not. Okay, so we need a dumping zone. Where's, where's the town dump going to be? I don't know, I'm gonna log those. Yeah, where where do we put the dump? For here? I don't know. Okay, so they're gonna just dump the dirt. At some point I'll figure out what to do with it. But for now I'm just gonna dump. And at some point I'll flatten it out and figure out what I'm gonna do. Past that point. Mostly we're waiting on this. Oh, the plus three means how many researches are left, not how fast it goes. So does it say how much I need? Oh, but we have the beacon. Which is under one of these. I'll just have to figure it out. Beacon. Perfect. Holy smokes, it's big. I'll just put it here. You dump everything in the ocean. Oh. How do I cancel? How do I cancel a dump? There we go. Okay. Yeah, dumping in the ocean. Uh... I'm just going to have it be flat for now. We're just going to extend the land. 
by dumping endless amounts of dirt. Because why the heck not? Thank you. This makes my life a lot easier. Hopefully I'm not going to need all this sand for anything. Okay, perfect. So now we've got a good good spot for that for the time being. Oh, no spot for iron ore. Okay, let's get one of those. Is this done? Yes. <laughs> Ironically enough, too many people. Okay. Uh, it's priority is going to be 15. There we go. Gonna undermine your mind control tower. Oh yeah, so I am. There. Giant pit mine. I wonder how deep you can pit mine. Okay, so you are going to be iron. Oh, that's iron ore. I don't... What? Uh, units... Oh, loose storage. Here we go. This is what I need. Honestly, I'll store those here later. Uh, I'll have to turn it off at some point just because at least we have it. Does this mean I can now start storing potato? Yes, I can. We can store many potato. Perfect. Let's see, still not safe. Open pits spawn from slanted walls. Interesting. Well, you know what? If I if it's not safe and if it does does crumble in, I'll just deal. Okay, so you're going to be iron ore. And you're going to be copper ore. Where do I get copper ore from over there? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Trucks are very busy. Yeah, we should probably build a couple more. Alright, so your goal is potato. We must store the potato. There we go. Alright, let's take a look at this. 16 refugees in less than a month. Active progress gets reset if the beacon gets interrupted. Got it. Well, in that case, I'm going to set this to priority 1 so it doesn't. Okay. Oh, and I do have 16 workers now available. Rad. Conveyor belts. Yes, they're almost done. And we do... Okay, so yeah, leaving a couple of these research labs as catch-all for extra people. Seems like a good idea. I'm just gonna get rid of these. So we're actually now losing unity. Ah, due to air pollution. I'm just going to turn that off so I'm not losing unity. Oh, do I still lose the unity even if it's paused? Nope, there it is. It's positive again. I'll have to work on that and figure out health. But irrigated farms is going to do it. Alright, how is this going? Very slowly. Here, I'm going to get rid of this for the time being. It seems kind of inefficient. What I'm going to do is just flatten this whole mountain range out. Because this seems to be where the goodies are anyway. And then at some point, we'll turn it into a hell pit mine that just goes deeper and deeper. Whoops. Yeah, right clicked a couple of those and I definitely don't want to do that. Edit area. Can I just add more? Nope. Edit area. Excuse me. You need to be freaking huge. 
ludicrously large. Edit area. Banger. Big. Perfect. Yeah, now we'll actually get some resources. Uh, not enough housing. Settlement is overcrowded. Uh, overcrowded. I actually need to worry about people? Dang. I was hoping I could just be an industry schmutz. Well. No, I can't get that. Okay, so we might have to move our research buildings at some point. Or, did that work? It did. Okay, in that case, we need tree storage. Buildings storage. Loose storage. Okay, unit storage. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. I want to do them the opposite direction. Here we go. Get them down. Unpause. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to put trees in these. I also really need to figure out trading. Please, will one of you buy my potatoes? Because, yeah, I'm, I'm trading... Do I get potatoes with this one, or do I... I'm assuming I'm getting potatoes. So I'd be trading construction parts for potatoes? Because I don't want to do that. Let's see, are any of these actually useful? Maybe wood? Maybe wood. I don't care about that. Okay, oh, but we have conveyor belts. Flat conveyor. So, it requires... What is this gold material? Construction parts 2. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to make that. So... It looks like... Manual just takes longer. In that case, I'm just going to put one of these down and we'll figure it out. Yeah, trading is manual. You're looking at potential trades, not acti actively happening ones. Yeah, I know that much. I'm just trying to figure out if I can trade my massive quantity of potatoes for... Uh, not potatoes. Okay, so we want to do this one. So I'm going to need construction parts and electronics. To make these. Okay. Oh, we've got some. Oh, let's figure this out. Please don't backseat unless I ask, though, because I prefer to. I don't want to say I prefer to learn these games, but, uh. Let's see. It's going to be way less fun. Okay, it looks like I might want another excavator. And maybe some more trucks. This is going to be way less fun if I'm just getting a, a... A ton of directions on what to do. I'll figure out most of it. Okay. Can I get another one of these? No. Because we haven't finished building it. Because we'll probably also maybe want to mine some of this stuff out. How is this looking? Is it... A, I can't tell if it's extending or not. Okay. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm pressing T to research and that's not it. So crop rotation, transports balancing, captain's office. Housing edicts. Fuel saver, maintenance reducer, water saver. No, vegetable farming. I mean, honestly, these might not be a bad move. Let's see, because we can turn potatoes and fuel uh, into fuel gas and compost. 
Which that sounds pretty good. It's just kind of far down. Actually, maybe it's not as far down as I think it is. But I still don't think I can actually sell it, but this will at least get us fuel gas. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So now we are able to produce construction parts too, so I can do some some conveyor belts. I should probably be a little careful uh, not to do too much of this, because if I do, I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, so maybe we actually want to turn this off, like, immediately. There. Okay, good. It finishes its production at the very least. Alright, so what's your issue? What are you holding? Uh, I cannot hold iron ore. Oh, because I currently can't do anything with the iron ore. Start storing some of that. Are you done? Iron and impure copper. Full output. Okay, so in that case... Are these about the same size? It looks like it. Yeah, I'm just gonna have... Have these store iron. If I can build it. Because we're gonna get the building parts on underway, otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble. Okay, so we're gonna just do... Iron. Iron. Do I want to just do a ton of these? Because I might want to do impure copper. Uh, let's see. Though I don't think we've actually found any copper ore yet. Have we? We've been finding iron. So I might actually need to look at these greener looking hills. No, that's got grass. This might be... this might be copper. It's either copper or it's some kind of radiation, and I'm not entirely sure. Alright, so let's go back over here and take a look at this. What do you need? Oh. We're still melting down iron scrap. How much iron scrap am I still working with? Only 23 left. Okay, so that's... That's not much at all. Or, oh, they're pulling it out of this thing. That's why. I'm going to turn that off then. Okay. We're also getting slag. Here's a question. If I check transport... U-shape can... Ah... So what do we do with slag? I guess we'll find out. Oh, if I do T, it pulls up transportation and it shows me every output and input. That's actually kind of big. Alright, so first and foremost, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, rubber and copper to make electronics. So I guess what we need to do is get some concrete going. Okay, so crushes ores into fine grain materials so they can be used in advanced processing. So this turns rocks into gravel and slag into slag crushed. Turns limestone and coal into cement and exhaust. Okay, but how do concrete? Concrete mixer. Okay, so cement plus crushed slag or cement and gravel. I haven't seen cement. Okay, here we go. So. I'm probably going to want to go back over here. Here. Let's edit area. Let's have them flatten this out real quick. And we're a little crowded for the time being. Which is a little bit of a worry. I'm, I'm running very, very low on building parts. I guess I, I guess I need to trade for it. 
Um, I can't. There are no building parts that I can trade for. Ah, but you know what I can do? I can get a bunch of building parts real quick. Well, real quick. By doing this. Because I have 240 concrete slabs. So that'll slowly get us some construction parts so we're not just completely screwed. <laughs> uh, thank you, John Roll, for the 20 month resub. I have to say that I'm angry at you uh, for getting me back in hard space. I have a week long vacation. I see myself playing way too much of it. For real. Keep up what you do, man. Oh, thank you. I hope you enjoy it. I rather, I rather love that game, and I, I can't wait to put some more time into it at some point. Okay, so let's um, can I just move things? Pause tool, Unity tool, copy, copy settings, La layers. Oh, that's interesting. We don't need the coal maker is the one thing. But I might wanna... There's probably an electric furnace, probably an electric furnace that we can do sooner than later. Maybe we already have it and I just didn't even look. No, at least not yet, maybe later. Okay, so in that case, the main problem is this is just kind of in an awkward spot for me, but I guess I'll just live without. So, real question is, this is most assuredly some kind of res resource that I don't... I don't know what it does. Okay, we want to point this at where we want to mine. I guess it's time to get a couple of mines down. Ooh. Uh, yeah? Uh, this is probably fine. Yeah, the arc furnace is a ways down the deck tree. Yeah, figured. Okay, wood's going back up. I'll have to trade for it later, but hopefully I'll be able to do some things. Refugees. Oh gosh, we have maybe too many people. I'm sure we'll catch back up or something. I don't know. Okay, uh, so let's go back to my mining designations. We no, no longer need to worry about that. It's nice and flat. Uh, let's see. All right, you are what we care about. There we go. Perfect. All right. So now they'll dig that. So we're going to need a couple more excavators. I'll have to wait on those. Think I will just have enough building parts, but it's going to be a bit of a dicey dicey thing. So we've take, taken a look at contracts yet. Currently, we can't do anything. We get, we've got to actually fix our ship before I can do that, I think. Uh, repairing it is going to cost 75 building materials. I have 10. Which is a problem. Oh, current research is... is... too complicated for our labs. Okay. That's fine. Let's grab a number of these. So, settlement water. Oh yeah, that sounds probably useful. Extra vehicle cap. Efficient concrete. Oh. Yeah, let's just grab all of these. And make it work. Though, it's getting a little late. So I might actually want to call it somewhat quitsies here. 
No lab, no lab available. Oh shoot, what's our current one? Is it biofuel? Or did they cancel everything? God damn it. Okay. Let's just add everything. Add everything that we can currently use to the queue. We'll leave biofuel for later, I guess. Okay, anything else? Smart conveyor routing? Sure, why not? That's everything. Yeah, the big issue is just an absolute and utter lack of buildable resources. Well, I'll make it work. Mining destination. Flatten the hills out first. Is that all? Perfect. Yeah, so let's see what we can get. Oh, right. Each of these are going to need a couple. Let's do one miner, two trucks. That should give me enough. Okay. Because, yeah, the sooner we can get concrete back underway, the better. How's this doing? It's making coal. Uh, so how much coal is this using? Three coal every 20 seconds. This is making... Four coal every 40. So I think that's the... Whoop. Oh, it's raining. Okay, I was like, why did the screen just flash like that? Freaked me out more than a little. Uh, let's see, how's this doing? I'm going to cancel these for the moment. We want to take out the trees over on this side. Because the sooner I can get that cleared out, the more space I'm going to have to work with. Okay. So what resource? I don't know. I, I'm assuming one of these has got to be lime and one of these has got to be copper. So once we get it going, then we'll know. I've barely even touched this game, but I like it a lot. I like the resource chains. I like the fact that you have trucks right off the bat. It's a little weird for me. I'm used to just mining machines and whatnot. And so having something that is a little bit more... I'm going to use the word fluid, which is kind of wrong. But, you know, something that can be freely controlled and directed in various directions. Uh, you know, hey, you go here, do this. You know, you go here, do this. Throws me off. Oh, that's cool. These guys have actually established kind of a dirt road through repeated pathing. That's really neat. Uh, either way, I think I'd like to play more of this. Uh, just maybe not today. Uh, but I appreciate it a lot from an automation standpoint. You know, there aren't a whole lot of games like this still in the genre. Which boggles my mind a little bit considering, you know, how, uh, how popular automation games are. Um, but, you know, so if you're a big fan of Factory or Satisfactory, I think you'll probably get, you'll probably really like this one if you feel like picking it up. It is 30 bucks and it's still in early access, but that seems fairly comparable. And for the quality you're getting, not bad. Uh, but for now at least, I think I'm going to stop, give my voice a bit of a rest, edit some videos, not be scrambling constantly. 66 months of food supply, I just, I just noticed that there and I was worried. But we also, it's all potato. This is straight up, we just live in Ireland, but it's awful here. I might actually want to get another one of these, but maybe I have enough. And also, yeah, the devs are super active with updates, which I think is really neat. So I will come back and play some more of this, and we might try and turn this into something really uh, wild. Okay, what are you storing? Copper ore! Hey, So there's that. What are you storing? What is this? Limestone. Yes. Okay. I guess what I'm going to do, let's come back over to this. Uh, storage. Let's do a loose storage again. Or maybe we just... Maybe I actually do have my industries in slightly odd spots. Because that's slag. Ah, limestone plus coal equals cement. So really we just need a loose thing plus some coal production, which I guess I'm going to have to shift around. I don't know, this is... Uh, I cannot escape it. 
and it's fine. So I guess start with the rotary kiln and figure out what needs to go where. And then, then I'll make it work. Okay. Question. Ah, coal is also loose storage. I just want to set these up so I can potentially start automating them. So you're going to be, whoops, not that. Oh, that we can store waste. Store limestone. Store coal. Yeah, so I'll have to make a proper coal production thing. And I am still out of building parts, aren't I? Oof. That's rough. Well, it's rough, but we'll make it work slowly and surely. And it's em eventually I'll have proper assemblers to make it work too. All right. So with all this said, uh, for those of you guys watching this on YouTube, if you like this video in any way, shape or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons of them to check out. And honestly, I'm going to be back for more of this. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly, but I'm definitely going to play, play some more. Uh, but for now, at least, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.